deranged and deeper vicious attacks oh, they just, on that overall design there's so many things and so many ways you could perform harm on someone so going off this theory we started coming up with ideas of our own that maybe these suits were used on the halloween of the year of 87 yeah i mean these images are closely entwined with the whole 1987 appearance if you go in the inspector they could have all been responsible in some form or another for the bite of 87. Yeah, it's like a big game of Clue there, really, on who yeah. done it. So. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we, we still don't know the answer. And, you know, the whole bite of 87 thing, the phone guy only briefed over one incident, and that is that someone was apparently missing a frontal lobe from the accident. I mean, it doesn't speak of other deaths. We don't know if anyone else actually died during this period of time. No, and that's the only time he actually mentions the bite of 87, which is strange yeah. as well. Yeah, it's, it's really disturbances to themselves he seems really intrigued and it, yeah it's almost like just like down below what your thoughts are on this exact theory indeed and if you guys did enjoy this video why not leave a like rating to so <laughs> sorry guys i wanted to look at that for a minute but there's just a few things that are going to happen when i finish the uh big three thing we got some we got some uh new power ups and guns for Arnie, because when you play as him, when you play as him, he's going to, he's going to um, have his guns. Me and Young, I mean me and Harry Love, because I, he, fuck it, I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm putting Yonky being in it too, but I'm trying to figure out if there's any kind of punching tools and I found out that the sword does not do what I think it did does so I gotta I don't know maybe I can fix that and modify it maybe I can make a flaming chaos chaos sword or a flaming demon blade that'd be awesome and you know I'm just still testing out the stuff from the other in the first level. You know, mostly the first level is going to be like the test. So if it's not as good as the others, which there will be like 14 of, <sighs> you get to play as you get to play as me, Ani, Harima, and Yonk. So I'm trying to find if there's any kind of punching uh, power-ups. Let me see. I want to see because it'd be cool. It'd be cool if I could just give him a bat. If I could give old Yonky be a bat because he's been always telling me, Bugsy, if we're doing, if you're gonna have me in this game, you need to give me a bat. I'm like, okay. I'll see what I can do. So, yeah, so I'm making, so with the adventure mode, uh, the adventure, the adventure thing, they have the Little Big Plant 3, which, if I really wanted to do this, I'd only be able to release it in parts, but I can actually make a full-on game, and, I don't know, that's always been my goal, but if I can do one in freaking Little Big Planet, oh my god. But here we go, um... Let me go look. Power up. I'm going to get that portal gun. It's going to be mine. It's going to be my power up for anybody who plays, <laughs> plays as me. Though our in-game characters are going to look way different from what we look like in our videos and various. So I just wanted to tell you that so you know. Let me see. Me. I'm just gonna put me. I'm gonna put Melee! Melee! <laughs> but let's see, let's see. I wanna look at like various power ups that aren't guns. But it's looking like we're gonna have guns either way. Throwing eyes. Ooh, that's in the tutorial. Alright. 
Someone's gonna get some throwing knives. I'm not gonna say who. And they're gonna be this game is gonna be somewhat puzzly. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of gadgets that do do things that uh will help you along. They'll say more puzzly things. There's just so many things that I'm really gonna be working on uh with little big planet. Because the big three of the game is gonna be the first, but there's gonna be other stuff too. Hell, there'll be Hell, I'm thinking of getting I'm thinking of making Ani's own little solo adventure. <sighs> Who knows? You know, and I and I figured out that I have to actually play some of the. I, I got. I had to find out that I had to play some of the games to uh, play some of the adventure mode to get some of the stuff I need, as in music, and that kind of sucks. But I can also go to various other levels and see if they got some music I can use. I need some original <laughs> stuff. No! A flying piece. And but just know we just got some gun power ups and some gadget power ups. Yeah, but it still should be fun. There's gonna be boss battles too. The first battle, the first boss battle that I'm working on. Is gonna be the it's gonna be the first level, and you're gonna fight King Mopa Chupa. Okay, King Mopa Lupa Chupa. And no, you fight him like three times throughout the level. Ooh, what's this? Like, there's gonna be a line where Ani says, Do we have to fight you every freaking time? Like, seriously, I just shot you. Could you die? You use Tide Pods? Yeah. I thought you were the queen of the pre treat so treat so. <laughs> Those are fond memories, but. That's cool. Yeah, he really got the knuckles going. He's got the knuckles thing going out. Got little braids, but they're not dreads. Yeah, they're close enough. Oh yeah, Yonki was here the whole entire time. for no reason. I think there's gonna be a reason. But I got like that so I got like that they're doing like a Sonic and Knuckles fight because when when was it the last time we saw any of those? A long, long, long time ago. Yeah like I said But you know what? I think we can go to SoundCloud and get some music from there. You know, through your through your PlayStation, if I'm not mistaken. So. But you know, I you know. I just think main Knuckles needs to drop the big and stupid. You know, him being kind of gullible, a little bit gullible and stupid. I mean, 
you know, that's what he was in Sonic X. That's why he was in Sonic X without being completely, like, stupid. No, I think they need to drop that. Knowing Sega, they're probably not. Yeah. Still. There's always hope. Man, Bugsy. Are you mad that Sonic Boom tanks so bad? Game-wise, you're never gonna get there. It's never gonna be, like, a sub-series for, like, Sonic 7 a.m. Yeah, that kind of sucks. The IRS got hacked. Lovely. What is wrong with these people? Why can't they just get like freaking freaking firewalls and why can't they get a hacker to make a firewall that a ha another hacker can't break through? Why don't we get hackers to make like our freaking defenses? Yeah, not a lot of them are trustworthy, Bugsy. You know this. I know, but seriously, think about it. Hey, uh, yeah, Sonic, Sonic ninety, Sonic ninety three things for brothers. We're sort of like that. You know, we sound alike, but we're not brothers biologically. Which is really weird when you think about it. But we're yeah, we're not bros. Well, the bros of the soul. <laughs> Bugsy, you made that sound so lame. Hey, you're the one that thought of it. I'm just saying, you made that sound so lame. Just really, really, really lame. You're really lame. No, you are. You're a douche. <laughs> So, so you getting uh, you getting Arkham Knight pretty soon? I want to, but that's probably gonna take a little while. I want to get the bundle, but I feel like the bundle's gonna be sold out the moment we try and get it. You can buy it on Amazon. I bet you they have it. I bet you they're gonna have it before this. Uh, even though the stores don't have it, they're going to have it. You know, that's... I mean, maybe they'll go for a higher price there, but, you know, best bet you got, you know. That way you get... They, that way you get Arkham Knight and... Uh, you get Arkham Knight and such and such. And since, and since, uh, and since, uh, PlayStation 4 has a bigger memory than PlayStation 3, uh, let's say you get a card, and you can buy, like, oh, uh, yeah, we gotta buy, like, freaking, see, I don't get that about freaking PlayStation 4. PlayStation Plus wasn't freaking mandatory. Yeah, on three, but now it's like on four. You got it. It kind of sucks. You know, it really sucks. Like they never put Roxanne in Goof Troop or made another Goof Troop and put Roxanne in. That sucks. I mean, I I I I liked Goof Troop, but that's actually having a girl. You know, I just didn't like Max in the other one because he's like he took a total. 180. You know, what I really think is Goofy really, you know, Goofy had a wife, she died, and basically, you know, Goofy, like, Goofy's the, Goofy only has Max. So that's why he wants to be part of his life, because, you know, that's the only thing he really has. You know, that's why they went on this road, that's why they went on the road trip. Hmm, you thought about this, yeah? Edge. Actually, go, Team Titans. Oh my god, Curb is gonna talk about Team Titans Go! Who wanna take a minute and look at it a little bit before we uh, do other things?
I beat a lighted bugsy. This is a curve block all about. A little show that I like to tout Cause when I'm out of ideas for curve vlogs Teen Titans Actually go to Titans One, two, three, four, five, five, I don't think he's gonna movie. smash it, man A few studios from uh, thanks to some friends who work around uh, on different shows But um, uh, it turns out I have two friends uh, One of which, uh, Zach Lissimo, who those of you uh, will, um, will know from the... Uh, Nintendo collabs, he did some of the animation segments on there, and uh, he's worked on Brick and Morty and uh, Motor City Sweet. and a bunch of shows like that. Jam. And uh, he's currently a storyboard artist on Teen Titans Go. And uh, me and a couple friends were brought to come visit there uh, by the director, uh, Scott Bryan, who uh, my friend Steve knew, long story, long story uh, short, whatever. I, I got to go to visit WB. Also, can we just beat her up and see if he actually does anything? Just knowing what Deathstroke, like the you know the original version of that character, was like, I, you know, I mean, of course he was a, a running adversary of the Titans and everything, but, but seeing him in that position, this kind of character, just knowing what Deathstroke, like the you know the original version of that character, mm -hmm. was like, I, you know, I mean, of course he was a, a running adversary of the Titans and everything, but but seeing him in that position, it's like, it was such a weird kind of decision, and I, and I do like that version of Slade, the the Ron Perlman uh, portraying version of him. Uh, I it was do a too. cool kind of, you know, their own sort of iteration of the character and everything. It was just, it was very strange that they picked him of all people to, uh, to be in that, like, kind of, you know, ultimate evil overlord. Well, you know. You know, you know and even though, Slate, even though, you know, he wasn't really, Deathstroke wasn't really, I mean, yeah, but I kind of liked it that way. I kind of liked him being kind of, um, there, there in Naraku that would do kind of, like, manipulation and stuff. Oh no, I just love Teen I just love regular Teen Titans. I'm sorry. I love regular Teen Titans. You know, like I just said about let's get serious. You know, it just shows me that Teen Titans Go really doesn't care about, you know <laughs> All I wanna say is that they don't really care about us fans. <laughs> oh, see that gonna be your next parody song? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Why are you saying wow? Like it's not... <coughs> like it's not good by any stretch of the imagination. Well, I'm not saying it's not... I'm not saying it's not good. It's like you're like going... Uh, doing the whole Michael Jackson thing. I'm like, why? Because, really? It's, they only care about the... I mean... I always say there's a way of appealing to all fans in some way. You know, kind of reaching a middle ground where everybody's kind of happy. But, you know, teen times go don't care about the middle ground. They want to just... They just want to reach them kids. Yeah, and I know how it sounds, but seriously, think about it. So... Yeah, I'm with, but I am with you on that. I mean, personally, I think that basically Teen Titans Go is just, I mean, yeah, it does have a few good episodes, like the shipping episodes, where, you know, where the freaking shippers can be happy, but when it comes to an actual episode, we're just like, oh, God, make it stop, make it stop. I know, I can never really, I, you you know my distaste for Teen Titans Go. I mean, back when you had a place, I used to always talk to you about it. Yeah, I used to say, like, Bugsy, you ain't that bad. Yeah, and then we watched it, and we were like, yeah, it's bad. I don't know, I mean, it's, me, it started going downhill when they started adding Trigun, and I was like, oh my god, why? Why add Trigun? I mean, Trigon. <laughs> Trigon. Why I Trigon? I don't get that. And why make him like... I make him like the dad. Make him like the kind of dad that wants his daughter to do right. When Trigon really didn't care... Trigon really didn't care two shits about Raven. He just wanted to use her as a portal. I mean, they still kind of keep him as evil, but they make him have this whole little... 
you know, I am, I'm a dad that just wants to know, do what's best for you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you can't do that. You can't make him, like, oh, I care about you, Raven. And then make him do something evil against Raven's wishes. I mean, make him one or the other, but you can't make them both. So, talk about misdirecting. Uh, yes. The art of random comedy. The art that anybody that wants to do random comedy needs to understand. Misdirecting. Now, Damien, some of you may know him from Make Me, you know, Make Me Bad. <coughs> some of you may know him from Make Me Bad, which is like this um, channel he has. A lot of you, a lot of you now probably know him from the du that dude from Ponage. But Damien really understood the whole random aesthetic. He really did. Um, you know, because he made you think that he was going to do another joke when he does the complete opposite. Teen Titans Go just does those jokes that seem a little random, but they're not really random. They're just what peop what the people expect. Bobo -bo was balls to the wall random. Then nothing else could ever in my eyes, nothing can ever really try to top that. They can try. They can try to wacky, goofy, random humor, but it's kind of hard to do to you know, it's hard to do that because, you know, every joke has been told. But sometimes you can, you can surprise people. But Teen Times Go doesn't want to surprise people. They just want to make, they just want to make them little kids laugh. They want them kitty laughs. <laughs> they want them kitty laughs. That's going to be your new quote for this, for the year. Like, when it's New Year's Eve, I'm going to be like, well, they wanted them kitty laughs. <laughs> They wanted them kitty laughs. <laughs> they wanted them kitty laughs. <laughs> hey, Bugsy. Bugsy. Seriously, though? Yeah, they wanted them kitty laughs. Kitty laughs, though. Yeah, kitty laughs. Dude, it sounds so weird. Anyways, man, I was thinking. What if? Like, theoretically. What if me and you could get what if we could get Terrence drawing the voice a little bit our little little big planet uh adventure game thing. I would like it, but you know, that would be kinda of, that'd be kind of gross misusing her voice at the times to do that. I mean I would like it, but you know, not really a thing, you know, not really a thing we do. Yeah, kinda yeah, I'm kinda with you on that. But if you but if you really, really could and you actually had some sort of if you actually had the money to do side frame fighters the way you always wanted, would you cast your wife? Actually, yes. Like, if I had, like, a grip of money to do whatever I wanted with Sonic Freedom Fighters, I was able to not only have the rights to actually do it online and get, and, and actually make a profit off of it, and it would be Sega approved, but yeah, I would try to get mostly all the voice actors. I can't get Christine Count off because she is dead, and it would, I would really like her to, and if she was alive, I'd have her reprise her role as Bunny. I'd have her 
guys have always bunny bunny rabbit I think that would be really cool she was alive when we did that yeah and that way you know that way like we'd actually get paid for doing it and uh, you know putting it on the internet would be a lot easier because then we wouldn't have a lot of execs on our backs who, you know because we would follow the demographic that you know people that want to see Sonic Freedom Fighters would do yeah like the same you know, that Sega neglects like yeah you give them the comic Sega but they want they want a game you gave them Sonic Boom that's not what they wanted they wanted a Saturn game to call their own you see you sat there with your with your fly open and expected that Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric would be some sort of godsend. But really, it just turned into a pile of, a pile of shit. And that's why, that's why Yonki's dad shoved Sonic Boom up his ass. <laughs> but see, no, no whole fiction reference, no. <laughs> so I'll talk about my dad. But he, but Yonki, he shoved he shoved the game up his ass. And then, after five long years, he put this painful game up his ass and gave it to me. And I shoved it up my ass. And now, now, Yonki, I give it to you. <laughs> I don't even, you know, when I think about Pulp Fiction, I don't understand why the kid want his, why would he want his uh, dad's watch, why would he want something that his grandpa shoved up his booty, and his dad shoved up his butt. I mean, after that, I mean, I wouldn't even want the thing, because it's been up to, like, 30 people's booty holes, and I wouldn't want it. Why does it smell like, why does it smell like a dirty carnival? <laughs> It smells like a dirty carnival. If the kid just takes it, he's like, yoink. I'm like, no. It smells like, it smells like anus and booty grease. <laughs> like, you thought about that way too hard. I'm sorry. Sometimes I think about, I think about shit like that. It, it's weird, but yeah. I think about crap. So, how was the, uh, Pizza Party Podcast today? It was, it was good. <laughs> would it be cool if you actually got on there? I mean, I would like it. But, you know. I don't think, I don't think they'd ever, like, like, they, you know, Pat would have to know my work and blah, 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 which really isn't much you know and as you see that god awful animation I did back in the day the Jan Sun Bobbin was good I'm not talking about that one that was okay road trip was the hardest one and it was stupid because my computer would overheat you really don't hear them talking you hear So, updates from your channel, uh, so basically, you know, that's what I don't like about the sub box sometimes, they, you know, some things don't even show up, like, I look at a, I look at a video, don't even show up, don't even show up, I'm just sitting there like, uh, <laughs> When's the next Marco Pyre video gonna be on, you know? And usually it's already on. You know what? 
Hey, let's try it, guys. Welcome to Akiba Strip. Or Akiba uh, Strip. Yo, yeah. if I, like, dressed you... If I, like, put cat ears on you, would you do something that the fangirls want you to do? No, I will not... I will not freaking do that, and you know it. I'm not doing it, man. I will do anything to help you, but not that. Oh, it's, it's meant, meant to be, be so what, what if you have what if you have fans and they you get more views because you go nah I'm not doing it Bugsy you can you can keep you can keep trying to convince me but it's not gonna work that way because there was one thing about this game I'm uh, dead and undress if you had a guess from the subtitle there but, but, but don't go look at that I don't you're gonna make out with motherfucking zombies that's right stripping people <laughs> but are they undead? Are they zombies? Are you stripping zombies? Oh my god, the first necrophilia. You know, this is kind of like, um. Duncan Dunk Roper? No, it's Dangan Roper. Dangan Roper, Duncan Roper? What's the difference? That's such a weird fucking job. Why would he take that? That's a damn fucking almost do that thing. Skip the damn thing. Ugh, Bugsy. This is why I'll never get an actual job. I hate those kind of dudes that act like they're so high. They're so high up. They're so above everything. They ain't gonna get. They act like I'm not gonna punch them in the face for being all high and mighty. Like, ooh, you got, ooh, you got a promotion. Ooh, you're, ooh, you're my boss under a bunch of other people that's that outrank you. Yeah, it probably makes you feel good trying to trying to freaking trying to freaking judge me when everybody else probably got bigger yachts and hat, bigger yachts and planes, and. And are able to get mostly anything they want while you're still sitting at the bottom. Damn, Yonk. What did you did you try to apply for a job today or something? Or no, no, no. It's just something like you know. Back, you know, Mad Dog asked me to um like be a salary man like him, and you know at his job, and I you know he wanted me to kind of give up my. Yonky ways, and I just kind of sat there for a minute. And I said, you know, man, I can't do what you do. I can't smile at a boss when he's when I'm being berated because shit. And you guys can say, oh, Yonk, you're not like that's how you do it in the real world. You just gotta take it. No, you fucking don't. Trust me, I ain't gonna let my boss know you weak if I if. I mean, trust me, if I, I punch somebody, they're gonna get punched. They're gonna get beaten down. Because you can't, you ain't gonna look, you ain't gonna look down on me because you, because you feel superior over me. If, that's, because if that's the game, I'm like, look at, look at your higher ups, they higher than you. They got a mansion, a car, a freaking leopard. What do you have? Oh, you only got a condo. Whoopity do! Shit, huh? I mean, shit, Yonky, god dang. You just, you're just letting it loose. I'm just, I'm just, that, that, that dude just brings back some very, very, very punchy emotions for me. I bet, dang. I mean, not like, uh, you know. If you guys want to go get a job, a desk job, that's cool. But me, no, I can't do it. I mean, yeah, you could say working with Bugsy is not really a job per se, but I'd rather, I'd rather work for someone I actually respect than someone that acts like a complete nutter. Oh, look at me, I'm higher than you. I'm looking down at you. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> the hell? Oh, it's nothing. It's 
a simple quarrel. Something anyone. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we can do it, guys. No, we can do it. Why, just an asshole thing. What the? Why am I on the new bed? It sounds illegal. Don't worry, it won't do. I think it was too far that it gives them the will to carry on. But, Bunzi, that's shit. That's so shady. That is so fucking shady. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even do this. Dude, there are like two cops right there. I don't think you'd be able to knock that dude out and run before they freaking open fire on your ass. Bugsy, have you ever seen me truly run? No figures, no dick. No, trust me, man. You think you think you think I is fast? Trust me, I. And he's got him strapped down to the table. Fuck that. I'd be like, yeah, we're not that strong. Yes, I am. Trust me, man. Trust me. How are you going to buzz that in there like you, like you the Incredible Hulk? They're not really cops, though. Still, no one will ever know. I'll be like, I'll be like, <laughs> Hold up. So what? So what is that? What do you call that? No, it's just breathing through your. It's just breathing through your mouth and then uh, punches them through. It focuses and relaxes your muscles, basically. You want to do that when you're punching somebody. That way, the punch has more force, well, more power to it than a normal punch. So. You know, and there's some other moves I can teach you, Bugs. You know, you know, you can always use some improvement. You'll fight a lot of... Fight a lot of top-tier guys. By a lot of top tier guys, dude. So, you know, that's little moves I can oh, teach geez. you. Okay. Um, your slumber be restful forevermore. No! No! Come on! I'd be that's like, that sounds. That's the end of figures. I'd be like, I swear. The phone. System error. System error. Reset assistant. We tried. We took the entire script. What? Am I dead? Oh my god! Yes, you're dead. Who are you? Absolutely. <laughs> so it's like one of those. So it's kind of like a visual novel. Sure. I kind of know who she is, but I assume she'll tell me later. Um, oh. So what is this? So what is this? Like on the. Oh, God. Okay. It's on 3DS? It's on the Wii? Doesn't look like we'll be able to get away quite so easily. We'll look, we'll look in a minute. So, oh, okay. Now, press it first. Press the left, left button to enter combat. All right, left button. Sure. Um, oh, enter the combat. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna I think this may be a freaking... Let me look. Let me look. I, I want to look. I want to see what this is. They don't really say. Undead and undress. Sounds like a freaking... Sounds like an MTV thing. So, what do you think about Family Guy, man? Eh, Family Guy's okay. I mean, yeah, there's some things are kind of meh, but sometimes you can't get a good laugh, a good chuckle out of it, you know, even if it's not as good as certain things, you know? It's not like, no, I don't think it's like truly horrible, like a lot of people. I think there are some iffy episodes, like when Chris, when Peter was trying to marry Chris to get some of that money, which I really think was kind of, ugh. And then, like, you know, and then, I just like the one where Meg actually gave it to everybody. About... He gave, she get she basically gave it to her as like, look. She's like, she's like, she's like, look. 
She's like, look, everybody, this is what you, this is how you've been treating me, and seriously, if that's what you deserve. I just wish it didn't go back to like them going, oh yeah, Meg was just act, yeah, Meg was just acting up and shit. No, I wish they would have actually grown as more, more, as characters because of that. And maybe after that, they wouldn't use Meg as a fucking punching bag for most of it. You know, and you know, and you're probably guys, you're wondering like. Yonky, why do you think that? Because maybe if she actually made the may have Peter and Lois didn't act like such freaking asses. Every freaking chance to make is you know, every freaking chance to make maybe she'd be a little bit better. Maybe she wouldn't have gotten no drugs to drug Chris so that freaking dude that had a gay crush on Chris would not plow his booty hole. You know, she freaking had a change of heart, but what if she didn't? What if she didn't? Freaking Chris would be... Chris would be screwed over for life. And all because this chick wanted to bang a gay dude. You know? He's probably gonna be like looking at Meg, looking at his drinks and food and stuff, hoping he ain't getting roofied. So you blame that on like you blame that on Peter and Lois? Damn straight I do. You know, I was not like if Meg was like freaking like an actual person, bugs. Uh, if you'd be the kind of person I would hang out with and actually teach a few things. So you're saying she. She's a nerdy girl and that tur that that turns you on. Shut up, it doesn't. God dang. Everything is turn you every anything that turns someone on, it is it? Well, don't blame me, it's just how I am. <laughs> well I do blame you because that's how you are, but seriously you're kinda of stupid. Or stupid. But anyways, no, seriously, nerdy girl, so you know, she, dude, no, a girl that, a girl, a girl that can stand on her own two legs, and doesn't really need me to basically, you know, save her all the time, if she, like, if she can fight for herself sometimes, I mean, like, if a thing's too big, I'll jump in, but if she can, like, take care of her own, you know, and stand up on her own two legs in a fight, that's someone I want to be with. Right there, Lexi. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just don't like the, I just don't like the girly girls, man. Hmm. I don't get your meaning, Bugsy. Like all the girls you've ever dated, weren't they always like tough and always, always fought for, for some kind of purpose? And they weren't like always depending on you to help them or bail them out all the time. I mean, you probably did a few times when something was too great, but you, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I get you. I get you. You know, I was with Donnie Go because I saw a person that needed me. You know, we did it for a little while, but didn't really go as I wanted it to go. Not like I tried anything. But, you know, she went. Well, she didn't went back to the guy who beats her. It was more like a thing. You know. She, she fought her own two legs, but she thought I was controlling the relationship, and it just turned into this big thing, man. Were you? No. But I think she felt like I was. And that kind of sucks. Yeah. I really didn't do anything wrong. I couldn't see that way, and she... Go vote. 
And then act like Mad Dog where he's like sitting there listening to freaking music on his jukebox because yes, he has a jukebox. I t took a few days. You know. Had my had my uh day where I was feeling a little sorry for myself, picked myself back up and I was ready to party. Now that's what that's what you do. You don't, you know guys, you don't sit there you know, wondering how you can get her back if you can. <clears throat> if a breakup's too immense, you gotta just you just gotta figure stuff out, you know. You know, you gotta, you gotta have yourself a good cry. You can, you can pity yourself all you want. But you gotta get back, sooner or later, you gotta get back up. Start, either start dating again, or just be like me, wait for the right girl. You know? You gotta be like, you gotta be like, oh, you gotta be like me. Young TV. Always doing, always doing the right thing. You know, my name may have delinquent in the title, but you know, it's not really, a, I'm not really a bad dude. I'm not really like a fucking horrible dude. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's just like if you disrespect me, you're gonna get you, you're gonna either. If you're a chick, I'm going to disrespect you. If you're a dude, you're going to get you, you're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get your ass kicked in. Like like I'm not kidding. Like your taint is going to be really really appointed with your ass because I'm going to kick it inside you. That's what I'm doing. So, uh, Bugsy what are we looking for, by the way? Uh, they're doing this Mad Max thing. And we just passed it, so I just, like, missed it. So, we gonna go, we gonna go see Fukatsu no F? Dude, of course we're gonna go see Fukatsu no F, man. But we need, but if it's gonna show up on YouTube, we need to find it and watch it quick. Because you know how freaking uh, YouTube is particular about this shit. Alright. Will do. No other sense be like what? You, you seen the Godzilla? You seen the new Godzilla game? Oh, yeah, but see, don't you worry about that. I saw that. I was like, yeah! Freaking Godzilla. I love a good kai I love a good kaiju battle, man. I don't know why people think it. I don't know why people. People are probably gonna assume you're weaver. I was raised in. Ja I was an American, but I was raised in Japan, man. And people can believe that or not, but that's what happened. Whether they can, whether they, whether they think I'm weeaboo or not, it, I really don't give two shits. They're gonna be like, freaking weeaboo, I'm like, dude, I can actually, I probably can actually find you and kick your ass, so, do you really wanna get, do you really wanna piss me off? Ooh. So what is this, like the Mad Max MMO? I don't think they're even doing that anymore. Really? I'm actually looking. I'm actually looking forward to that. So is this gonna be like car combat with third person shooting, or like it, when you're out of the car, is it gonna be like first person? How would they give us an open world of fist? Open world game of fist and North Star. That would be fucking intense. I 
I have never really watched Mad Max though, to be quite honest. You never did? Dude, we need to I'll I'll change that for you, man. We need to watch it then. But I say let's start with Fury Road because I hear it gets the uh core concept of Mad Max, right? I haven't watched Fury Road yet, so it's something we could probably do together. Looks, looks fucking, this looks like the bomb, man. Looks pretty awesome. It looks like if you mix, but this does kind of feel like a Twisted Metal game without it actually being Twisted Metal. I was looking at uh when me and when me and uh Bug were doing a uh Pony Thread Simulator and uh this one part where he's like You so you're telling me that Twilight and freaking Discord don't end up in a double homicide while freaking Rarity does all this other sh all this other stuff and then Spike gets into drugs and says that's the best he said that's the best, what do you say, methamphetamine orgasms I ever had? That what you tell me? I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know, he's talking about a freaking uh, show for me and it just got into fanfic land and all was lost. I don't think, I mean, I think it'd be weird if like... <laughs> I think it'd be weird because I've watched a little bit of Milo Party. It's not really that it's not really that bad. People people tell me like Yonki, it will take your manliness away. I'm like Dude, I don't care. See that's why people think I'm so cool. I just don't I don't I don't give two shits. Oh even when people say like, Oh, you're not manly I'll be like, Do you wanna say that to my face? You want to actually come to me, come a little closer and say that to me? And I'll be like, they would be like, okay, okay, okay. It's okay for you to like my little pony. I'll be like, if eh, if you say that to anybody else, and they got something to say, tell them I'll punch the living shit out of them. <laughs> uh, cool story, Yonk. Yeah, but honestly... I don't think, I don't, I don't think Twilight would be with freaking Discord. That seems more of like, I don't know, it seems like they're leaning more of a Celestia kind of route with Discord. They could be leaning to Fluttershy, but I think they're going to go with Celestia. So, dude, we done? Yeah, well, all we did was just talk about random shit. So I think we're done. Cool. People, we didn't really do much in this video, but I want to tell you that mostly if we do videos, if we do like videos like Bugsy and Yonky video videos on you guys. That doesn't mean we hate you. That doesn't mean we're trying to insult you. We're just making jokes. Please understand that we're just making jokes. We're not trying to hurt nobody. We're not trying to break. We're not trying to hurt no one's feelings. We're not trying to. We're not trying to freaking bully anybody. You know, we're just making jokes. You know. Please don't take it the wrong way. Because I want to say that. So in the next time we make a freaking video make a video looking at someone's stuff you guys don't get mad at me questioning certain things if it's a series or talking about certain characters because if we're because if Bugsy pulls me into the middle of a series and I don't know what's going on I'm going to ask questions you know it's just how I am 
don't don't take it too personally. Don't t don't think I'm being a douche or a dick. Just know that you know I'm just that I'm just the dude that asks his questions. Sometimes I'm more on the road, but that doesn't mean I try to be. It's not something I try to do. It's just how I am as a person. You know, sometimes let's just say I lost somebody because of me being semi critical. That's how bad it is. And sometimes I don't even mean to, it just happens. Just how it is. Well, thought I'd talk to you about that. Bugsy, got anything to say? Oh, dudes. Um, stay tuned. I'm doing another uh, sneak peek of Forever Rivals pretty soon. Um, and yeah, I may because it's I want to release it June first, but you know something might happen, so I should. So I'm just planning out the first episode, and uh, that's gonna be done. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be we. It's in, it's basically gonna be text and audio, so and pictures. So it's not gonna be like an animated thing. So don't come walking into this thinking that's gonna be animated. Trust me, if I could, I would. I'd be like, Phew. it'd take me about like a few months to do it, but I'd do it. But uh, I don't have that kind of ability, not anymore at least. So you need to understand. That I, you know, I am, I'm limited, but I'm trying, I'm going to make it the best damn story I can make it with these limitations that I have. So, yeah. Mm. But, uh. But yeah, that's all I really want to say. I'm Bugsy. And I'll see you later. I'm Yonky B, the ghost of Osaka. And I'll see you. I'll see you mooks. I'll see ya. I'll see you mooks later. <laughs> yeah, you guys thought I forgot about saying mooks at the end at the end of these videos. No, I just kinda took a break from it. But see ya you mooks, I'll see you later. <laughs>